fall is upon us in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which means we get to plant pumpkins and make pumpkin goodness in the game. This is very exciting, so I want to go and explore the nuances of pumpkin farming for the update, and I've kind of prepared a really large pumpkin farm, so the first thing I need to know is what happens when you time travel. If we go into November, do these just like automatically die and remove themselves, or do they stay as like some kind of pumpkin crop that you can then replant and not replant but reharvest into the next year so let's go and check that out also probably best to not flub the menuing and just save the game i just gonna put one down not invest too much time gonna see what happens all right so it's november 2nd and we have a pumpkin cool and we plant or and we pick it and we still have a pumpkin plant nice now let's see what happens if we go into winter. You know, let's just go full calendar, get out of here, see what happens. So saving the game, gonna go into winter, see if that does anything. Then go into October 2021 and see if the pumpkins already start regrowing. So it's now January 2021 and the pumpkin is still here. Also, I guess it grows through November, which does make a lot of sense, but Okay, that means like fall season is just pumpkin season. The winter doesn't kill your plant. It's still there All right, October. Let's see what you have in store because now I'm actually really interested and then we have the final check and there's a pumpkin waiting for us This is the greatest thing ever and making a large pumpkin farm Looks to be absolutely worth it, so I am going all in. Let's talk about how you get pumpkin starters and how you end up making your pumpkins, harvesting them, and all of that fun stuff. If you end up enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like, and if it helped you out, don't forget to share it with all your friends. Also, you can buy pumpkin stuff in the shop as well, so as you're time skipping, maybe check up on that, grab some things. Let's get this pumpkin table, except I kind of don't really have enough money on me right now and it is a crafting recipe so if you don't get the recipe you can still buy the items this way or you can just wait until you get the recipes more on that later but if you want to go and get the pumpkin starters right here nookling shop you can buy five at a time they stack ten in your inventory um ooh okay that makes things a little bit more spicy so the Halloween event is only for the 2020 October okay and there they are. So yeah, if you watch the official Halloween trailer, you can see that you can just buy them from the Nooklings. But also, Leaf will have them in stock, and they're going to be half price. So depending on how much of a baller you are, if you just want to get it started up on like October 1st and Leaf is not around, well then you can just buy them from the Nooklings. It's also a pretty good deal regardless, because a pumpkin sells for 350 bells. So this can turn into some really insane money making at the same time. But, just kind of want to fill up your inventory. You can buy five at a time. They stack ten each in your inventory. Plant them, and then it looks like everything's good to go. Also, time traveling backwards didn't seem to affect my pumpkins negatively. So you're just kind of free to do whatever you want. Pumpkin planting note. I ended up dropping my shovel to see if you needed it. You don't. You just plant them. You know, you go in the center, they do a 3x3 three three grid around you, you can plant nine at a time. And, judging from the size of my field, I'm going to be here for a while, but... Actually seems really easy, really straightforward, and yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool. I might actually expand the size of my pumpkin farm now, depending on how this ends up going, because they grow pretty quick, they never go away, and they're kind of easy to plant and get this done with, so I'm, I just get more and more excited about this. Alright, and there it is, my pumpkin patch so far. So the first thing I need to do is save and then skip ahead four days. So pumpkins are kind of weird. If you played any kind of farming or life simulator game, this is kind of how recurring crops work. The initial growth is going to take longer, but then the repeat growth is going to take less time. So four days on the first pumpkin and then two days after that. So let's hop ahead to October 5th. Then we can take that first crop, and then we can also go and just start getting as many pumpkins as we want, effectively, whenever we want, and that's pretty cool. Also, one thing to note is that if you water your pumpkins, you're going to get a different yield. That if you water a pumpkin one time, you're going to get two pumpkins. If you water a plant two times, you get three pumpkins. So, keep that in mind. 
It's so pretty. Look at my pumpkin army. I can craft an infinite amount of Halloween goodness. This feels awesome. But there's also a couple other things I've been doing. So I went through every day in October to kind of find where my weather is. I know there's a calculator for that, but kind of lazy for trying to figure out all that stuff. So I just kind of went through and I found two days that have consecutive rain. And that's really all you need. You don't have to like chart out every weather pattern for every day for your October, but October 25th and October 26th at 10 a.m. for me have it to where it's gonna be raining. So I wanna go and show you guys how that's going to work because or I also wanna see how it works for myself too. So if you plant or if you harvest a pumpkin and then you water it, does that day count? So if I go and check on the 26th and then the 27th, will I have three pumpkins here or two? Because then that means it's going to affect how I time travel back. Because I think I might need to go, you know, 27th, harvest, 24th, 25th save, 26th save, 27th, harvest for three. Because when you have a pumpkin farm this large, just going one at a time is going to be far less efficient than getting three at a time. And three pumpkins. So that means, yeah, we only have to go back to the day that it's raining after we harvest these. And we can then start getting three pumpkins at a time, which is pretty wild. Also, now that I filled in this dirt patch, I can just kind of make the rest of my island work out really well. So I, I pre-made that pumpkin patch when I heard about the announcement, which means I kind of locked myself out of farming the uh, these things that I have. And that means we're back to doing everything super efficiently. I can go and dig up all my fossils. I can also dig the money rocks for resources. And it looks like since the pumpkins grew in November, I could also do this in November and get my mushrooms every day. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm just gonna see if time traveling backwards has any kind of like weird effect on this. So we harvest our pumpkins. That means we save. We're gonna go back to the 25th. Like again, maybe time travel might not count the day fully. We're going to see how that interactions work. Then go 25, 26, 27, three pumpkins, flush the patch, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so it looks like going back in time doesn't really change anything. You know, sometimes the game responds differently to where if you go back in time instead of just going directly forward in time, or you have to go like before the date into the date to get the desired effect that you are looking for. Either way, um, I have a lot of pumpkins to harvest now, and when it comes to DIY crafting, that is going to be the next guide, so make sure you are subscribed, hit that notification bell, all that good YouTube stuff, because it is different, and you have to like kind of do some extra things to get all the DIY recipes, then you put your pumpkins to use, and things get pretty awesome. Even if you don't time travel, I hope this video also gave you some good advice, because it would kind of be lame if you didn't do something properly, you go through the real-time days, and then you end up screwing it up. So, if you ended up enjoying it, if you did get help in any way, comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on this, because I think it's amazing. They didn't really do, like, other life sim or farming sim kind of things, where it's like, oh, it's a new season, all this work goes to waste, or oh, you only get to plant 500 pumpkins and harvest it once. This is now a permanent fixture in my island that plays nice with everything else, so I love it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.